Hello, Goranges are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 8th of November. And as ever, we've got an amazing selection to show you, such as large bronzed spelter figures of nymphs holding iPhones, apparently. There we go. There's a, this, this is actually a genuine iPhone, but someone stuck a little photo over it. So that's going to be in the sale. Um, the number is yet to be revealed, but we'll come back to you on that in due course. Elsewhere, what have we got in the cell? Come through and I'll show you. So over this side of the room, we have a mixture of some interesting artwork, some nice mirrors. If you need something huge to cover up a wall or um, something you don't want to look at, then there we go, look at that. That is a Whopper, that's got 1639. And it's not going to be a huge money, it's had an active life, it's a bit sort of bashed and, and bothered about with, but uh, just as 100 to 150 on that one. But uh, kind of fun there. There's some rather nice mirrors here lurking amongst here. So have we lotted them yet? No, we haven't lotted them yet, but I'll show you them. I'll share them with you and then you can have a look on the, type in the word mirror into our search bar and hopefully up will come these mirrors. So this one's got rather nice. Looks to me to be 19th century French, late 19th century, nice with this laurel leaf crest and what have you. I should think that's about four to 600 pounds. Another one here lurking behind some pictures. There we are. Um, and perhaps a couple of little losses up the top. I think there was a bit more to it once, but that won't show when it's high up on the wall. Another one further on here, with this time with a bit of denting and, and damage to it. Um, really only those bits up the top. It's good lower down. And then over this side, we've got some more. It's, it's World of Mirrors this week. Yes. Uh, there we are, French style mirrors. Otherwise, some nice furniture, pictures lurking around. But let's go and have a look at the smalls and see what we can see. Following you. Right, okay. So, in the land of schools, everybody's going to start running for, for cover. It's like flicking on the kitchen lights and seeing the <laughs> silver fish disappear. <laughs> Um, anyway, Dragging Backwards, this caught my eye, don't really, well, Cider with Rosie, I mean, we all know the title, well-known book. Um, a first edition, though, less, um, not inscribed by the author, but, but a very popular book by all accounts, and therefore, a modest estimate, you get the Superman annuals, probably worth more than Cider with Rosie, actually. You get Superman in with it, particularly given the price is number one comics making. 1954 Superman and some other books. For the princely farm, or estimated at any rate, 40 to 60 pounds. That's got 1371. Then elsewhere, this caught my eye, 1368. Look at that, what a splendid clock case. And with it comes a letter to a lady in Bath, dated 2001, from the British Museum, no less, uh, pointing out that it's um, that the, the, the galley frères make um, were busy boys. They were. Um, Active in the 18th century, they say it's, it's curious because um, the, the dial and, and movement look to be of a later date and the inscription implies it was um, given a medal in the Great Exhibition in the 1850s. So they, they think it's been sort of re had a new movement put in and possibly the dial redone. But they do point out, it's rather lovely, look, there we are, the original design by uh, Forti there. There we are. And someone's written my clock. There we are. Good that, isn't it? Nice. It's lovely. Ormolu, white marble. So good looking clock, that. Um, should we have a peek at the movement? Why not? See what we think. Yeah, that looks, that's definitely a later, a later movement sitting in that case. And it's splendid. Look, all done at the back. This eagle, the eagle wings in the back. So nice thing that. I think the estimate is, if I haven't gone mad, estimate is uh, three to four hundred pounds. I can see it making all of that. Good looking thing. What else do we have to show you? Um, we've got some wines here. Chateau de Chem. 1965 in uh, cellar condition by the look of it with a nice dirt and dust on it. Estimate there 150 to 200, it's got 1424. Then I had a rummage in the strong room while Roger wasn't looking and pulled out some jewellery. Uh, there's, uh, oh, what is there, 50, 60 lots of jewellery I would say. A few highlights here 1876, this nice citrine and seed pearl necklace, estimate there two to three hundred pounds. The snake necklace is, or serpent sounds better than snake, doesn't it? Is um, not a Victorian one, it's a later one, but it's got a four to six hundred estimate. A uh, little ring there, that caught my eye, and then I looked it up and it turns out it's paste. So um, that's just, it's set into gold though, that's just 60 to 80 pounds. And here, lot 1902, I thought these were fun. These are gold mounted Chinese jade, look at the way they're interlinked. Um, Two to three hundred pound estimate. Could go on those. I think they're rather nice. So a few bits of jewellery there. There's plenty of other jewellery in the sale. So do have a good look. Then 
Dan pointed out some things to me. Which way should I go? This way. Dan pointed out he found this. Look, this is nice. 1471. And it's Mortlin ware. So Mortlin ware typically printed decoration onto this very light sort of boxwood type material with an integral hinge please note just as a key part of it which does have a crack and split and what have you um but what's nice it's golfing the first hole very much sorry i'll keep it still thank you scottish okay. golfers i imagine and then putting interesting hats going on particularly mm. this fellow here um playing the heavy iron Yes, still enough for you. After the first round and taking a view of the office. But not the 18th hole. But anyway, there we go. 19th hole. Yeah, it's 19th. The best hole. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, there we go. Uh, modest estimate, 8120. Could go on, as we say, particularly as it's golf. Uh, lot 1339. We've been selling lots of these um, English porcelain animals over the past year. And here is yet another rather lovely example. Uh, Dan says it's Chamberlain's factory. Well, that's, he's got a, he's, it's because it says so inside. But um, it is Chamberlain's factory and it's rather, I like the expression, that's fun. That's 1339, modest estimate again, but he says it will probably make 250, 300 pounds. Uh, there are some other um, poodles and doodles and dogs that look like rams or rams that look like dogs and other bits and pieces over the back. Then, what else do I have to show you? I'm sure there's something around here. That's right. So last week we featured these rather lovely um, Regency silkwork panels and put them in our email out to, to everybody and then they had to be withdrawn because the um, probate hadn't been granted and so the poor old vendor had to pull them out. But anyway, they're back this time and they're definitely coming out for sale. 1472 is the lot number on those. Then we've got some Royal Worcester, we've got some Wisdom's Cricket Annuals. I see Clarice Cliff. We've got Jasper Ware Clarks, Four Glass Clocks. We've got, not a Lowry, 1587 is, is after Lowry, quite a long way after, but people still seem to like them and they've been selling quite well. This is not the tarot, but again, <laughs> great fun, isn't it? That's, uh, yeah. Uh, that's lot 1590 and, um, a whole host of other things, such as brass model tank turrets, or big, actually no, that's from a battleship, isn't it? That's battleship guns, lot 1274. So it's all here as ever. The warehouse is, is full of lots of uh, furniture, a um, lot of things like wardrobes and desks and, and what have you, but have a good look at that because it's all, all there to be enjoyed and looked at. And well, I'm gonna leave that there for now, but uh, lots of goodies as ever. Have a good look through the sale and we look forward to seeing you in due course. Thank you.